Hello everybody and welcome to this video where today we are going to attack a quote from the great P.T. Barnum. Today, the quote that we are going to be talking about and discussing is, Comfort is the enemy of progress. Now this is quite true, okay? Because when we get comfortable, we tend to get a little lazy. So there is something to be said about making sure you are never comfortable. There is something to be said, and a lot of people talk about this when we talk about musicians, okay? So like when we hear stuff like, oh, it's their sophomore slump, okay? That comes from the idea that when a band was struggling and they were fucking poor as shit and they wrote their amazing opus first album that got them famous and it was totally great. And now that they're living high on the hog and um, doing lines of coke off of fucking strippers asses and shit, like they've lost kind of the will. They've lost the the prize they've lost it that is something that can be said there are a lot of people in the arts throughout history that as soon as they aren't struggling anymore their art suffers it's just something that happens and it's usually because you are so excited to not be fucking poor and struggling that you just get lazy. And honestly, maybe a lot of this is people go rush too fast to do their next project. I understand the marketing behind it. If something's hot, you got to keep going. Because there is going to come a day when no one gives a shit about you anymore. So if you're doing well, you got to keep it going. But for a lot of people, that second thing is never going to be good. But the, the downside to that is, is that typically if the first thing was really good, when the second thing comes out, even if it isn't good, it's still going to sell better than the first thing because people don't know that you're capable of fucking up yet. So you get this kind of positive reinforcement that your lazy shit is good. And so that fucks the person up even more. And then they're like, well, fuck, I made more money on this one, but I don't think it's very good. Critics don't say it's very good, but the fans seem to be okay with it. What do I do? Maybe I should just keep doing everything exactly the same and see what happens. And sometimes motherfuckers can pull out of it, and sometimes they can't. Okay? But keeping yourself uncomfortable is a really good way to make sure your art is pure. Now, there's going to be a lot of people who get mad at me saying that, okay? Because I also believe that the idea of the starving artist is a myth. And it's something that people pay into thinking that they have to be a starving artist in order to pay their dues. And that might have been the case pre-internet, but with the internet, none of you should ever be a starving artist now. There's, there's no need for it. You can build your own fan base. You could build your own marketplace. You could build your own fucking email list. There are plenty of platforms for you to put any kind of art that you create, audio, visual, whatever, online and sell it today. And as long as you know a little bit about SEO, depending on what site your stuff's on, you can probably do okay. So there's no excuse for the starving artist. But we're in this weird period where there's still people from pre-internet walking around living and breathing who kind of lay these ideas on people because that's how it was. And so hopefully the younger generation coming up, my kids' generation won't even know what that fucking means to be a starving artist. Hopefully that is the world we will leave that generation. 
fingers fucking crossed on that. Because it just perpetuates fucking mediocrity. And it's it's not necessary. Okay? So with that said, being comfortable is fine for you as a person. But for your art, for the things you create, as soon as you get comfortable doing something, you have to push the envelope. Or else you run the risk of maybe even boring yourself with your own work. And if you bore yourself with your work, you're going to bore other people with it. It's really important that you are your own biggest fan. And if you can't be the biggest fan of something you just created, then something isn't right. And you got to figure out a better way to do it. Now, this whole being comfortable thing, it could be taken a lot of different ways. Is it like just sitting in an awful chair? Maybe. Is it fucking working 12 hours a day and then coming home and only be able to create for 20 minutes? Maybe. Is it not working at all and like being able to write all you can and create all you can, freaking out that by the end of the month you might not have a place to live? Maybe. Everybody's different. But you just can't get lazy and you can't get bored. So if you ever feel laziness coming on, if you ever feel boredom coming on, if you ever feel the thing I hate more than anything, which is stagnation, if you feel stagnation coming on, you need to shake things up and try something different. But you're going to be the only person who knows what that is for you. Okay? So let me know down below what you think. Hopefully this was helpful. Smash them thumbs. Do the thing. Type hard, everybody. And I will talk to you all later. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon. I appreciate the hell out of you guys. Thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew of the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.